Doctors say 100 million Americans, roughly one in three of us, suffers from chronic pain. Many are veterans, and the Veterans Administration has changed the way it dispenses certain drugs that are not only powerful, but can be very addictive. Investigative reporter Chris Horn has talked with some local vets about the troubles they've had trying to get the medicines they badly need. Chris? Yeah, Tom, these veterans had moved to Hampton Roads with valid prescriptions from VA doctors in Pennsylvania, Minnesota, Illinois. When they got here, they ran into roadblocks at the Hampton VA. Doctors there tell us a new policy is designed to reduce the number of vets who are hooked on pain meds. So the vets went to extraordinary measures to get what they wanted. The VAs I've dealt with in the past, never in my life dealt with a VA like this. And the Hampton Roads VA says, oh, it don't work like that here, honey. Two local vets trying to manage their chronic pain. They say their real headache is dealing with the Hampton VA Medical Center. For both, VA doctors elsewhere had prescribed drugs that were working. Eight years ago, Robert Artley was left partially paralyzed. After Minnesota and Pennsylvania, Hampton is now his third VA medical center. I got to Williamsport, I mean, the doctor, and you couldn't ask for an extra doctor up there. And I get here, and it's by far the worst VA I've ever been to in my life. By far. Artley's two key prescriptions were the pain medicines, morphine and Lyrica. She just told me that they're not on a formulary list, and she stripped me off both of them. The VA's Opioid Safety Initiative aims at reducing addiction to narcotic painkillers. It requires that doctors consider physical therapy, massage therapy, yoga, even acupuncture as alternatives to pain medicine. We've been able to identify that these medicines are not without both short-term and long-term consequences to patients, so it's not a cold turkey process. It's a more a tapered medications under the guidance of experts in a multiple disciplinary team. But that was not Robert Artley's experience. Just cold turkey. They didn't, it was no slow withdrawal or, you know, nothing. It was cold turkey. What were the after effects of that? Oh, I mean, the, the, the morphine alone, I mean, you know, I was, it's, it was, I was having withdrawals, you know. But wait, Lyrica and morphine were on the list in both Pennsylvania and Minnesota. She said, this VA is different. That's what I got. This VA is different. That was her answer. Hampton VA doctors then tried several different drugs for about two years that did not work. Artley finally laid it on the line with a VA pain management specialist. And I said, Doc, I said, I've had it. I said, I'm not going to swear at you. I'm not going to try not to get loud. I said, but I'm going to speak my mind. He said, Mr. Artley, you want the morphine? I said, exactly. Artley had gone full circle. He moved here getting effective treatment from Lyrica and morphine. Doctors at Hampton took him off of both their alternatives failed. Now he's back on those same two medicines. Desert Storm veteran Christine Rayfield and her husband Earl, who served during the Vietnam era, had both been in pain management for about 15 years. It's, it's, it's terrible and it's extremely painful. My pain level stays at probably an 8 or a 9 out of 10 all the time. VA doctors in Chicago prescribed morphine and oxycodone for the Rayfields. When they got to Hampton, Christine's initial visit went badly. He started belittling me and berating me and making fun of me. So this went on for about 30 minutes till I was in tears. I'm a combat veteran. Rayfield says she has to be weaned off the morphine or at least get a blocker to avoid withdrawal. He said, no, you got yourself into this, you get yourself out. Rayfield's husband, Earl, then got a call canceling his appointment later that week. Hampton VA officials say because of patient privacy laws, they can't comment on specific cases, but they say they take these cases seriously. When, when patients are dissatisfied with VA services for whatever reason, we always want to um, dig into that and, and look, at the, look at the root cause. After nine months of frustration, the Rayfields decided they'd rather switch than fight. So they went to the VA Medical Center in Durham, four hours away. And we got to Durham. And they did more in five hours than the VA in Hampton Roads could do in nine months. They returned with this container full of medicines they needed for their various conditions. And how were people that we talked to able to get morphine and oxycodone by traveling to the Durham VA Medical Center? I can't answer that. Can you get more done in five hours than you get over here? Something in the milk ain't clean. 
So the Rayfields got thumbs down in Hampton, thumbs up in Durham. A Durham spokesman told us in the past hour that practices of opioid prescription can vary based on the experience and expertise of the provider and the unique circumstances of the patient. If opioids are used for treatment of chronic pain, we will be sure they are used safely and effectively. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.